Hey guys, Taylor here, and welcome back to another Battlefield 1 video. Today I'm going to show you how to clear a bunker effectively with a shotgun and the automatico. And also I needed to show you quite possibly the worst team that I've ever seen on this game. I mean look at this. Not one of them even has the idea to look around them. I mean, three easy kills there. This is my favourite shotgun in the game. Fast firing, quite accurate. It's just, in my eyes, it's got a really dodgy um, pellet spread. Which does cost you a lot of kills. And if you're unlucky, a lot of deaths as well occur. This is a perfect example of that pellet spread I was on about. I know my accuracy wasn't 100% on the last shot, but come on. At least half of them pellets should have hit that guy. I'll spawn on my squad, mate. I've no idea what he's doing. I only spawned in here because I thought there was enemies around looking at the like, pre-spawn map. Moving up to Duff. Hoping to make an impact on the objective. I have no idea how I was killed in like that. How am I still alive? Again, even if he fired his gun once, I would have died. I'm a bit lucky in that respect. Jumping onto the objective. Capturing it. Pretty simple game. <laughs> bit of a sneaky killer. I bet he's a bit fucked up about that. Okay, here I am then, moving out to try and clear um, Echo Objective. Now we start getting boxed in here. I mean, we're getting, every one of us is getting suppressed up to the eyeballs in here. See what I mean? Throw my favourite grenade, the smoke grenade. I think there's so many tactical opportunities for that grenade, it's unreal. Again, random pellet deviation. I should have killed him. But that is the reason why I like this shotgun. A straight triple and I just keep going with it. I mean in bunkers like this, shotgun is the perfect weapon. I have no idea what I was doing there running into that. I got a bit overconfident in myself there. The uh, rest of the team is all looking out for each other. I am spawned back in, running back to Echo. Enemy on the train is on route. And that is the first time I've ever seen the enemy behemoth come in at seven and a half minutes into the game. 
I mean, this just shows how shocking the team is. Their train was called in when there was around 150 tickets. Have to run away, tactical retreat. No shame in retreating, guys. That's when you know the team's getting desperate using mortars. And um, this team, enemy team, also shows you how to not use the train properly. I mean, just look at the train's life. Within a, ma within a matter of two minutes, it's dead. I mean, I think it's from the time of spawning next. It's dead. And a bridge on Charlie. I mean, this team is just beyond belief. Number three revolver. A very decent all-round weapon that is. It's just as damage, just as damage at short range, um, long range. Sorry, lets it down. Yeah, we got completely swarmed there. There's nothing the team could do about that. Bit of an unfortunate death that. See now, look at the train's life now until the time of spawning. Look how quick the team's taking it down. I mean, that is no way to use a behemoth. It's dead straight away. I mean, what the hell? So now all I can do is just sit on Charlie and just cap it. I mean, what a waste of a behemoth that is. In a game when you're getting dominated like this from the enemy team's perspective, you camp the train at the back of the map until at least you take the first two objectives for their team, which is Edward and Duff, and then you move it up to Charlie. You don't just take it straight into the middle of the fight. Oh, uh, now. I'm moving to Tech Bravo objective, Butcher objective, sorry. Again. I mean, you're trying to tell me that shotgun will not kill him from there. Random pellet spread. So in the end, they give up. It was costing me too much. Should I change the Automatico? It's not my favourite gun, but it does get the job done. Automatico is more of a weapon that's designed for hit fire, more than aim down sight. And I'm the type of person that tends to look down the sight for every kill that I get. It's just a dodgy habit of mine. Again, I get really lucky not to die there. Another simple clearance of an objective though. I mean, I just can't get over this score. This is the first time I've ever been in a battlefield game with a score this one sided. Oh, yeah. And if anybody knows what this is, if it's just a lag glitch or something, an enemy hacker, please let me know down in the comments because I really have no idea what that is doing there. I want to shoot it, it just goes like it's running away from it. Please let me know what that is. We are sus. I'm back in. About to look at the tough objectives. Look, I'm still alive. I should have threw a smoke grenade there. It's what I usually do. But I remember that there's another path around here. We have taken objective Edward. Glad to choose it because it is literally an extra kill 
Just lay that on the plate for me. I get a bit greedy and just get for points here. And this is why you shouldn't, because the enemy team will just get easy kills like this. I really don't know why I went in for the extra points. I didn't need them. And I know I'm not going to top the leaderboard anyway. But I spawn in now and single handedly take this objective back. And this just shows you how inept this enemy team actually is. They should have wiped me off the face of the earth, but... See what I mean? How in inept can an enemy team get? My god. <laughs> I mean he's using a shotgun, he doesn't have to look down the side, so all he has to do is just press the button and that's it. I mean I just can't get over it. And that's the game. Please, comment below if you've been in a game where team loses by that amount because that is an embarrassment anyway guys thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe below oh yeah oh before I go so I'm gonna start a um you pick I play series which if you leave a comment below about what guns for me to use I'll try and do my best for you to get good gameplay out but there is one gun I'm not going to use, obviously, which is a Calibri, for obvious reasons. So yeah, please like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.